so Dhoni, uh, I have given you problems uh, where I believe 10, 12, 13, and 15 problems. I can't, I think you have done some mistake. So do you want me to discuss those questions with you? Uh, yes, sir. So question number 10 is two point having same MCs are different ordinate. Okay, so two point having same MCs are the different ordinate. Don't get me. Suppose if this is a plane, MCs are means same X value, correct? Yes, sir. It's same X value, but Y value are different. So maybe one point is the most important. Maybe there's another point. So this is A and this is B. What is given here? So different ordinate, they lie what? They lie x-axis? No. Correct? They don't lie on x-axis. They don't yes, yes, sir. lie on y-axis. They don't lie on y-axis. So is that line parallel to x-axis? This line, if I draw a line on this, if I draw a line on this, so is this line parallel to x-axis? No. Just no, y axis or yeah, line parallel to y axis. So okay. Okay. Then, uh, I think after 12, okay. 12, so perpendicular distance from the point 4, 3 from y axis. 4, 3. So the point is a point called 4, 3. The points of those called 4, 3. Okay, from the y-axis, what is the perpendicular distance? The perpendicular distance of the point 4, comma 3 from the x-axis. So from x-axis, what is the distance running? Can you understand this? Really? Yes, sir. So Three. The, yes, sir. Yeah, so the distance from the x-axis, if I ask you the distance from the x-axis, it is 3. Imagine, four. ask you what is the distance from y-axis, then that means 4. Then okay. Have 30. Uh, the distance of the point 4, 3 from origin. This you tell me that uh, 20. from origin, what will be the distance? Uh, sir, 4. Hey, beta, see this. Uh, this, this will, Dhoni, you know that this is 4. Yes, sir. This is 4. You know that this is 3. Yes, sir. So I want the origin. I want this distance. This will be 5. Uh, 5 to 0. Uh, 4 to 1. 5 to 1. 3 square plus 4 square. You know 5 to 0? Yes, sir. Pythagoras theorem. Yes. So, yeah. So in a right angle triangle, when you say a right angle triangle, if this is theta, so this is called perpendicular. This is called perpendicular in the right angle triangle. This is called base in the right angle triangle. And this is called hypotenuse. Spelling would be wrong of hypotenuse. So this is called hypotenuse in the right angle triangle. So Dhoni, then there's something called Pythagoras theorem. Something called Pythagoras theorem. Something called Pythagoras theorem. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, that in a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse will be equal to the square of perpendicular plus the square of the base. Okay, sir. Right angle triangle, I always remember Dhani. So imagine if I give you Dhani this 5, this 12. So what would be this value Dhani? If this is a right angle triangle? Uh, sir, it will be five, 5 square plus 12 square. No, no, this it would be under root of 5 square plus 2 square. Mm -hmm. So that would be 13. So in a right angle triangle, if you want this AC, this is A, this is B, this is C. So the value of AC would be AB square plus BC square. This would be 5 square plus 12 square. Which is 5 plus 144. Plus 144. Under root of 169, that is equal to 13. Okay. The same concept you studied geometry, no? Area one. Yes, sir. So in same concept we use even in cone also. Cone. So in cone, you know this is radius. This is height. You know, cone, this radius, this is height. This is called slant height. 
we call it as land type. We represent with the symbol L. So in tone also we use the same concept that the slant type. So the value, the square of slant type will be x square plus r square. The same concept for Pythagoras theorem. Okay, sir. So with that logic, so we can understand. So yes, sir. No, I got it. Yeah. So, the, uh, so this, these are called Pythagoras triplets. So more Pythagoras triplets, if you can remember, it will be good for you. Like, uh, like three, four, five. It is a Pythagoras triplet. Then all multiple of this, like three twos are six, four twos are eight, five twos are ten. Three twos are nine, four twos are twelve, five twos are fifteen. Okay. Those triplets, they always you have to, if you can remember, uh, along with this, the very common triplets are five, twelve, thirteen. Then uh, you have uh, seventeen, fifteen, or uh, two eighty nine, uh, two eighty five. Seven, two eighty nine, and then or fifteen, two eighty nine, then two eighty five, or what will be sixty four, five comma eight comma seven, seventeen. These are very common Pythagoras triplets. Then twenty four comma ten comma twenty six. They are very common Pythagoras triplets. You should always remember them. So you never know when you may require them. Okay. Sir. Not the problem. So Pythagoras triplets you remember. So we we use this Pythagoras triplet to solve many problems also. You may if you are solving some problem from reasoning, for example, I'll show you some reasoning. I believe you have seen lot of problems from reasoning in past. Anyway, you are solving some exam, you are writing some random exam. Can you see this question number twenty seven? Yes, sir. So, so if you want to solve this question, have you solved this kind of question? Have you seen this kind of question in past? One second, sir. Ah, uh, you just tell me the answer. Okay. Question number twenty-seven. Yes, sir. One minute. Okay. Take one. Uh, yes, sir. I've seen these sort of questions. So, so you will never know where these kind of like the, the relevance will come. You are, you are studying reasoning, reasoning, you are writing some NTSC exam, something, and suddenly you notice these kind of questions. There's nowhere you think that it can be done by using maths, but maths relevance will come anywhere. So, like you see, a child is looking for his father. Okay, so the child is looking for his father. Uh, so he went, suppose we start from here, he went 45 meter in the east, he went 45 meter in the east uh, before turning to the right, and he went 10 meter. Uh, so before turning to the right, then he turned right and went 10 meter. So he went 10 meter before turning to the right again, and and whose uncle place, which is 15 meter from that place. So suppose here is his uncle place, that this is 15 meter from this place. Okay. His father was not there. He, this child was looking for his father. From here, he went 15 meter in the north. He went 15 meter in the north. He went 15 meter in the north. Before meeting his father. So here he met his father. Okay. So how far does the does the child, how far did the son met his father from the starting point? So they are asking you this. Uh, yes, sir. So this, this will, this is, this total, this total was 45 and this is 15. So this will become 30. And yes, sir. this total was 50. This total was 50. And this was 10. 10. So it will become 40. So yes, sir. Since what this 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 is so this is also called a displacement in physics we call this as a displacement displacement yes sir yeah shortage distance travel shortage distance between the two points so yes, we where the relevance will come so we should be aware about all these concepts anywhere these things now um, after
your 12 after 12, 13. 13 you did. Then after I think 15, 14 was correct. Uh, yeah, 15. 15, the area of the triangle. Do you want to try this? Uh, 15, the area of a triangle. Oh, yeah, yes, sir, I'll try. Uh, sir, is it six square units? Correct. Yes, sir. Then, uh, you understood. See, uh, uh, yes, I took four as the value of uh, while doing the, this yeah. thing. It was three, so that's where I, that's I got eight. Uh, then, Dhani, have you tried that, uh, that algebra questions? Uh, yes, sir, I'm doing it. Uh, there are 52 okay. questions. I'm still doing uh, the okay. questions. Okay. I just want to keep you engaged. You're getting yes, sir, but uh, I'll take some time with yeah, yeah, before please take time. It. No problem, no problem. Please take your own time. Uh, okay, I just want because you pointed out mistake. No, actually, there's a I'm developing book on CA. Okay, so, so around I have to write a maths book for CA people. Okay, okay, sir. so like the way you pointed out the mistake, no, I want. Like this kind of thing, little bit is there. I want all that to be put out. You are getting me. So I'm taking your help, or that way you are also definitely. Yeah. So, like, so I don't want to make mistakes because they're paying me money per question or content, whatever I'm writing. So it should be a mistake. A trust person, when they see, uh, they can see better than what you're getting me. So, Yes, sir, yes, sir. So this is another thing I forwarded you. Whenever you get time, you can see this. I think you have seen this kind of question in the past. Uh, yes, sir. I've seen uh, this. So, so this, things. all these, all you can do it very fast by using Vedic maths. So uh, okay. I, I want you to spend some time doing this, uh, looking into this question. Uh, you know how to solve this kind of question? So, uh, sir, can you just... Uh, Tell me how to do it again. Can you tell me how to solve it? Yeah, yeah. So suppose this is under root 6 plus under root 6 plus under root 6. Very common. Uh, first of all, I yes, suppose in Sakuntia. So it years, our teacher used to use do question from this book, Sakuntia Devi. That's very famous at our time. So this value, if I want to determine, suppose this value is equal to x. Okay. Suppose this value, this suppose this is equal to x, you understand this goes to infinity. So the same thing I can write like this also the root of six plus x equal to x. Yes, sir. Mean same thing because again, this is if you can understand this is continuous pattern. If you can understand this, yeah, yes, sir. So so here when I'm writing x, x signifies x signifies that same continuous pattern. So, yes, sir. So, so then if I do squaring both sides, I'll get 6 plus x equal to x square. Okay. So then I can write x square minus x minus 6 equal to 0. Yes, sir. Then I can write this x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 equal to 0. So then I can write this if I take common x, x minus 3 plus 2, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So I can say x minus 3. So the two values of x I get is 3 and 1. 3 and 1, yes. Correct. So yes. now this we took a lot of time uh, doing this problem. Uh, that whatever time you took, maybe we took 2 minutes or 3 minutes. So many people don't like this answer. So uh, okay. you're not aware about, but after you done with your 10, you are eligible to write any exam. Okay, one of the very common exams is SSC CHSL. You're eligible to write this exam once you're done with your 12. 
or you won't get your money. You can write this exam. So uh, the in these exam they ask this kind of question. Okay, the uh, now there you need to solve this question in one minute. Okay, so how to solve this question in one minute? Uh, Dhani, uh, you can you see this number? If you see this number, if if by any chance, if by 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 any chance, whatever numbers you see, if this can be break into two terms, where it can be this form x into x plus one. Yes. Sir. If you can break, I'm not telling that you have to break always. Imagine if that can be break. In this form, then if the plus sign is there, if the plus sign is there, then your answer is x plus one. While if the minus sign is there, then your answer is x. Okay. If imagine if I would ask you the answer so root six minus uh, root six minus root six. Suppose minus root six to the infinity, then the answer for this problem would have been two. Okay. Are you getting me? Because you can break six as two into three. Okay. So if that is possible, and if plus sign is there, if plus sign is there, then your answer is three. Yes, sir. Plus sign is there. If minus sign is there, then your answer is two. Similarly, okay. imagine if I ask you, root twenty plus root twenty plus root twenty plus root twenty like this till infinity. What is your answer? Uh, sir, ten. नहीं नहीं बोलने आ देखो बोलने आ Twenty to can I write four into five? Oh yes, sir. So if you can break that number in this form, if you can break this number in this form, then if okay. plus sign is there, then your answer is x plus one. If minus sign is there, then your answer is then your answer is x. So here the answer for this problem would be five. You can okay. If you need to solve this, or the answer for this problem, if you are trying to solve, if you are trying to solve. The answer for this would be four. Okay, sir. So this is a shortcut way. So if you if you want, you can spend time doing this. Suppose let this is equal to a. So I can write this as root twenty minus a is equal to equal to a. So I can write twenty minus a is equal to a square. So it means a square plus a minus twenty is equal to zero. A square plus five a minus four a minus twenty equal to zero. Do you need to understand the quadratic equation or to break and all? Yes, sir. You know these things, no? Yes, sir. Yeah. So then you take common. So you write this a a plus five this is minus four this is a plus five this is equal to zero. A minus four a plus five. So the value of a is four and one. Answer a value is four. Yes, sir. So that so these thing so these methods are there now. You can ask me, sir. Okay, sir. I understand whatever you are telling me, but it's not like you no. Know, always there will be problem like this. Suppose suppose this come like this. Suppose this like this question come. Now you know that uh, seven is a prime seven, prime number. Is a prime number. So seven so it can't be done like that. Seven is yes, a sir. number so it can't be done like this way. So the shortcut formula, what is the shortcut formula? So if you get something like a prime number, then this is your shortcut formula. I mean, this is your shortcut formula. That this is your shortcut formula. That under root of four a plus one plus minus one by two. If plus sign is there, if plus sign is there, then this will be plus. Okay. If the sign is there, this will be minus. What is a? A is that number which is inside. Okay, so so the formula is the shortcut formula. Root okay. Four, root four a plus four a plus one plus or minus one. A plus one. one plus minus one by one, one divided by two. Okay. okay. So now, uh, what is a? A is the value which is inside the square root. So this okay. will be uh, root twenty nine plus one by two. That is your answer. Okay. Now, uh, thing is that uh, I myself. I don't remember because uh, I just made this. I studied from book. I got this formula. Now shortcut is there, well and good. But how much we can remember? So the question arises: How that formula came? So this formula is nothing but you remember, no? How to find the root of the equation alpha beta minus b plus minus under root of 
B square minus four AC by two. You know this formula, right? Uh, no, sir. <coughs> you have not studied quadratic equation. No. Achha, then how do you know that I'm splitting? Between? This one was there. Uh, this formula of uh, splitting and stuff. It was there in algebra. It was okay. there in factorization. Okay. okay. So the, what happened, uh, Dhoni? Uh, what happened, Dhoni? When I asked, you know, this uh, x square plus seven x plus twelve. Is equal to zero. So you know x square plus four x plus three x plus twelve is equal to zero. So then ah uh, yeah, this one I know, sir. Uh, this thing uh, you know. know. These things you know. Ah, uh, this thing we could able to do because the ah uh, because the roots know the roots because this is a quadratic equation. The roots what are you are getting? You no, know, those roots are rational roots. Okay. So whenever you reach a rational, you know, you can break the middle term. Yeah, splitting of middle term. Yes. Middle sir. term that is possible only when your roots are rational. Okay. Imagine if the roots are not rational, how will I do, sir? X square plus eight x plus two l equal to zero. Then how will I do, sir? Here you are getting irrational roots because here you are getting irrational roots. That that's why you are not able to split the middle term. Whenever you are not able to split the middle term in quadratic equation, that means you are getting irrational roots. So under that scenario, Doni, this is the formula. Okay, sir. This is the formula where you know that every quadratic equation is in this form: a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. I okay. know that every quadratic equation they are in this form: a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. And by this formula, you can always find the middle term. You can always find the middle term. Doesn't matter the roots are rational or not rational. x square plus seven x plus two l. I know to solve this question by breaking the middle term. But you can do the same question by using that formula also. There, a is one. Seven and C is two. You understood this one? Yes, sir. Then you break the. You know what is quadratic equation, right? Quadratic equation uh, has two roots. When you say linear equation, we are studying coordinate geometry, no? So yeah. in coordinate geometry, whatever we are studying, we are in coordinate geometry. We study, we studied about plane and all, and uh, we study talk about plane. So where we find points. Absolutes are ordinate ordinates. Now, when you join them, these are linear equation. These are linear equation. Linear equation always give you straight line there. Linear equation. Yes, sir. The graph of linear equation. They always give you straight line. To draw the graph of a quadratic equation. These are quadratic equation. I believe you know about quadratic equation. So you heard of them. So quadratic equation always give you graph. That graph we call as a parabola. This graph okay. is a parabola. So, so if your roots are rational root, you can solve them by breaking the middle term. But if your roots are not rational root, how you can solve by using this formula? So, use the formula minus b minus seven plus minus seven square minus four a is one and c is two l by two into a a is one. So you can solve this alpha beta because Dhoni, you can understand Dhoni because this graph is parabola, na Dhoni. Yes, sir. This graph, if you draw this graph, uh, if you uh, spend some time and you take a graph paper and then in graph paper, if you put x equal to zero, then what is the value of y? Y is equal to x square plus seven x plus twelve. So if you do that, if you take x equal to one. What is the value of y? If you take x equal to minus one, what is the value of y? Like this, if you get the value and you draw the graph, you will get a parabola. That parabola will bisect the x-axis at two points. Because it is a quadratic equation, you will get two values of x. You remember? Okay. You studied in polynomial. You studied okay. polynomial x to the power four, x to the power three. So even x x to the power three was there. There you are getting three values of x because it, it x to the power three because it was a cubical equation. Cubical equation follow this kind of graph. So that's why here you are getting two values of x. 
So that's why those values are called beta, and we call them alpha and beta. So if you solve this minus seven plus minus forty nine minus forty eight divided by two, so this is minus seven plus minus one by two. I go forty nine minus forty eight is one root one is one. So then alpha value alpha and beta will be you can understand me minus seven plus one by two. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would be minus seven, minus minus one by two. So alpha and beta that would be uh, minus um, minus three minus, minus four. four. The same thing you would have got. The same thing you would have got by solving this. Okay, by solving by splitting the middle term, you you have got here, and the same thing you will get here also when you solve this money. When you solve this question, root of seven. Plus root of seven plus root of seven plus root of seven to infinity. I assume this is equal to x. So I could write here this is root of seven plus x equal to x. So I'll get x square minus x minus seven equal to zero. Now by splitting the middle term, I can't solve this problem. Yes, sir. Splitting the middle term, I can't solve the problem. So here my a is one. Minus one, one and C is equal to minus C at minus seven. And if I apply the formula alpha beta minus B plus minus root of B square minus four AC by two A, so uh, then alpha and beta is equal to minus 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 one is one plus minus B square B square is minus B square is one minus four A. And C is minus seven, so minus one is plus. If this you divide it by two, you divide it by two, so you can find the value of alpha and beta. That is equal to one plus minus B twenty minus one. I hope you understanding. So I told you the direct formula of this. So yes, this this books and all whichever you refer in your class, uh, you 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 get the direct formula root of four a plus. Plus one plus minus one by two. This was the shortcut formula. Then you have a prime number. But if you realize this, this shortcut formula is nothing but it's a derivation of of this concept. I hope you are understanding. Yes, sir. So here, uh, you, uh, when you go back, you spend some time. Like if the minus sign is there, you have minus minus minus. So you use minus. Yes, sir. One, one, one. This is root five root four root four root three plus four minus. Twenty one plus minus four root four minus three four root minus three plus four. Okay, okay, correct. Okay, sir. So, uh, this this is the formula. This is the formula, Dhoni. This is yes, formula uh, uh, to solve this. When this is plus plus plus, you use uh, you use here plus sign. And imagine if I ask you minus 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 uh, root eleven minus root eleven minus root eleven minus root eleven till infinity. The shortcut formula for this, the answer for this, the shortcut formula is uh, root of four a plus one. Minus one by two. Okay. Plus one, minus one by two. This is the shortcut form. Okay, sir. And if you have sign like like this plus minus plus minus, can you see this plus minus plus minus? Yes, sir. How will you do this plus minus plus minus? So if I ask you plus minus root seven plus root seven minus Then root seven, then root seven minus like this. Imagine if you are getting this. Now, if you understand the pattern, now if you understand the pattern, the pattern is like this: root seven plus root seven minus. Again, the same series is starting. So now this will be equal. To this. Okay. So you not write this. See this. You follow one cycle. You complete one cycle. If you observe the cycle, this is plus minus, then again plus minus, yes, sir. again plus minus. So you complete one cycle. So root seven plus root seven minus x 
equal to x because this is your x na bani your x is what what is your x your x is under square root 7 then plus then square root then 7 then minus that is the cycle which is repeating so you see when the cycle to end minus x equal to x i hope you understand yes sir yes sir so you do the squaring if you do the squaring you will get 7 plus root of 7 minus x equal to x square then again now i can write this as root of 7 minus x equal to x square minus 7 Again, if I do squaring, it just becomes seven minus x is equal to x square minus seven. Seven whole square. You will get seven minus x equal to x to the power four plus forty nine minus fourteen x square. So yes. now you get x to the power four minus fourteen x square, and then plus x plus forty two equal to x. Now you get a polynomial equation. You know this is called bi-quadratic equation. Now this bi-quadratic equation will have four roots of x. This will bisect the x-axis at four points. So okay. you you will get four values of x. So those four values of x you only determine. I hope you remember by using trial error method. So I suppose if I put let x equal to three, I don't know. Let x equal to three. So then three to the power four minus fourteen. Three to the power two plus three plus forty-two. I see this value. This is eighty-one minus fourteen into nine plus this is forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five plus eighty-one is one twenty-six, and fourteen nines are is one twenty-six. You are getting zero. Zero. Yes. Sir. Randomly. 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 I I put value of x. I don't know what are yes, factors of x. So randomly I tried this x equal to three. I got the answer. That means x minus three is the factor. Is the factor of f x. Suppose so this is equal to f x. Then you you did all that. So then you know x to the power four minus fourteen x square plus x minus plus fifty two. Then x minus three. Then minus four. Then this is minus fourteen x square minus fourteen x cube. You know this, right? How do yes, sir. So that way you can find the other roots. And if you get a probability question, uh, then you can end up you have a formula. But beyond probability question, there is no formula to solve by quadratic or any polynomial equation. So this okay. is a shortcut formula. If you have plus minus plus minus, then you use this formula with plus sign. Okay. Minus plus minus plus, then you use the same formula with minus. With minus sign. So four a minus three minus one by two. Shortcut. Yes. Sir. You just spend some time. Uh, uh, you see that, and you will understand. These are very easy, very easy, very important concepts. That way, it will help you to get the answer. So I just do that. Then so you remember what was the distance formula to find two points? Two point distance formula. Uh, suppose you have this. X one, Y one. This is X two, Y two. Suppose this is point A, this is point B. So how will uh, the midpoint theorem? A distance formula. We call this as a distance formula. Distance formula to determine determine oh, okay. the distance between the two points. So the distance formula will be a uh, root X. Uh, root x two minus uh, x one to uh, whole square minus y two plus, plus minus y one plus y two minus y minus y one whole square whole square that will be equal to this. This we did uh, yesterday uh, to uh, to understand this concept distance formula. This distance formula is very important. Yes, sir. So this is the first foundation of of coordinate geometry. And then uh, we, we 
the distance formula we learn something called midpoint theorem suppose yes sir suppose this so what was the midpoint theorem so according to the midpoint theorem according to the midpoint theorem the value of x would be x1 plus x2 by 2 and the value of y would be y1 plus y2 by Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, so we took the book, the NCERT book. So yes, sir. Chapter three. Like uh, this question number one. How do you solve? One, one second, sir. One. Uh -huh. Okay. So the first question. Hmm. Question number one. How will we do? How will you describe the position of a table lamp on your study table to another person? Uh, so we can uh, we can measure the uh, we can measure the distance from uh, we can take any perpendicular like the edges mm -hmm. and we can yeah, yeah. So, measure the distance and yeah, we can I tell. Believe. Uh, what you are telling is this. So suppose this is the table. Suppose here is the lamp. Suppose here is somewhere here is a lamp. Suppose okay. The lamp. So, like we'll assume the wherever is the lamp. Okay. I assume that point. I assume that is one point only. I hope you understand. We cannot cover the complete distance at all. Here we just because yes, in the term of coordinate geometry, so we are not actually trying to find the total area or the total space occupied by the lamp at all. So here we'll assume the lamp as a point. We'll assume the lamp. We'll assume that lamp as a point, and we'll yes, assume the table. This table. We'll assume this table as a Cartesian plane. We'll assume yes, table as a Cartesian plane. Yeah. Okay, where. This one end of the table. Suppose I assume this is the origin. End of the table. I assume this is the origin, and this this uh, this line. This line is my y-axis. Y-axis. This is my y-axis, and this line will be my x-axis. Okay. Yes, sir. Then what I can do? I can with with any measuring tape or scale or anything. I I just measure the distance. I just measure the distance, uh, maybe meter, centimeter, whatever, and simultaneously I'll measure this distance. So if this is AB and this is BC, I'll measure the distance. So let AB, let AB is suppose uh, 10 meter. Suppose simply randomly writing. Suppose yes, BC is equal to 20 meter, something randomly writing. Then uh, I'll use, I'll I'll determine scale. I'll use the unit of scale. I'll say. Uh, let uh, one meter is equal to one unit on the scale, something like that. One yes, meter is equal to one unit on scale. So then I write this as this one meter. Then scale with scale, I measure one one meter. That every one one meter distance, I'll just put I'll put a line, dot and I'll put the dot one two three. Then I'll increase the value in right hand side here four. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Then, then like this, I'll do. And here also, I'll do one, two, vertically, I'll do, and and horizontally, I'll do. Here, I'm assuming that the value is increasing, uh, from bottom to top. Here, I'll assume that value will increase from left to right. And then, what I can do, uh, Dhoni, uh, with scale, I can draw a line. 
Good school. I can draw a line like this. Correct. Good school. Yes, draw the line like this. So like this. Then I can draw a line like this. I can draw the line like this. And then once I draw the line like this, automatically I can find this point. That point. Yes, sir. So I can find this point. Coordinate of that point. Yes, sir. That way, we can solve our problem. Yes, sir. So uh, then question number two, uh, question number two, uh, read it suppose a city has two main goods uh, which cross each other at the center of the city. Suppose the city has two main goods. Suppose the city has two main goods. Suppose this is from this what you can see. This uh, this is the plane which cover the total dimension of the city, and it has two main roads. This intersect at the center of the city. Suppose this is the center, the point where these two lines intersect. Suppose this is the center of the city. So the the city has two main roads which cross each other at the center of the city. Uh, these two main roads are along north south direction. So you can you know this now. Nah? This is north south direction, and this line is east west direction. Okay, Mani. Yes, sir. Line is north south direction. This line is east west direction. And then uh, after that, all the other streets of the city are uh, run parallel to this road, and they are two hundred meter apart. So then they are two hundred meter apart. So streets are there which are two hundred meter apart. There are five streets in each direction. So two 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 hundred meter apart. They are so streets are there. They are two hundred meter apart. One two hundred three four this last street. Last street. You understand, no? Yes, sir. This is your main plane. This is your main plane. This is your main plane in the city. And this black color, what you see, that those are the, the streets. Those are your street. Those those are your street. Suppose uh, this is street one. This is street one. Then, uh, and like this, I can have vertical street. One, then I have three, four, then I have five. Yes. Like this, this is three, one, two, three, 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 four, three, five. I know they are self-explanatory, but even then, I'm just confusing the time. Uh, because yes, testing also, and plus, uh, we need to spend some time understanding the concept. These are five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, using one centimeter is equal to two hundred meter. So you know that each feet are at two hundred meter. So this all would be one one centimeter apart. Yes, sir. It will be one one centimeter apart. So with scale, I can do all this. So this is this is zero comma zero. So you you can find this. This is one. This is two. This is this is four, this is five, so this is one, then this is two, this is three. All are at a distance of one centimeter in my scale, but in reality, they are two hundred meter apart. Yes, sir. Then uh, there comes to the represent these roads by by single line. There are many cross streets in your model, correct? We have lot of cross streets where the two streets are crossing each other. So in Gujarat we call this is the chara. Yes, sir. So this their cross street, you can see this cross street will be one comma five. Okay. Uh, you can say this this is this is three comma five, this is three comma five, four comma five, this is five comma five. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. So 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 there are many cross streets in your model. A particular cross street, if there 
Then they explain what is cross street. A particular cross street is made by two streets, each running in north south direction and other in east west direction. Each cross street is referred in the following manner that each second street running in north south direction and fifth street in east west direction. Second street, north south direction. Second street. This is second street in north south direction. This is second street. And fifth street in in east west direction. So if they intersect, then we call this as two comma five. Then we yes, have two comma five. So that is what they mean. Then we call this as two comma five. So using this convention, a fine how many cross street can be referred as four comma three. Four comma three. Four comma three. Four. So, how many cross streets are in comma three? Only one cross street. They cannot be more than one cross street. Correct? Yes, sir. They will be one cross street only. And then, how many cross streets can be referred as three comma four? Three comma four means three. This is three comma. Yes, sir. How many cross streets can be referred as three comma four? Only one cross street. Cannot. You understand? They can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This. So this will be one comma one. They one. More than one comma one. So this. Yes. This will be this will be one comma one. One. One comma two. One comma two. One comma four. One comma four. So this is two comma four. Four. If I want four comma two, so this is four comma two. Four comma two. Yes. More than one four comma two. So yes, sir. So this will be one comma. Yes, sir. We did call this Oda Pahad Nitin Pujya. So we did so much hard work, and and it was like that kind of thing. What we call Mahavira is I D I D I O S. इडियम्स Okay, so now exercise three point two. So now exercise three point two. So uh, write the answer. I'm going to uh, explain it. And maybe sometime in the future we'll do. So then then I'll get this and I'll use my mobile in case of time. So should I tell the answer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first answer is uh, x and y axis. Mm -hmm, correct. a uh, second answer is quadrants correct uh, the third answer is the origin so then what is the write the name of the point where the two lines intersect correct good then so then a single figure 3.14 and write the following coordinate of b coordinate of c also uh, you can go to the figure i have the question okay Okay. So, what is the first question? Uh, uh, the coordinates of B. Okay. What is so the, the coordinates of B are minus five and two. Uh, minus five and two. Very good. Then second question. Uh, then the second question is the coordinates of C. The coordinates of C are uh, five and minus five. Very good. Then. Then the question is the point identified by the coordinates minus three and minus five. Uh, quadrant, minus no minus three minus, minus five. five e correct and uh, then the fourth question is the point identified by the coordinates 2 and minus 4 minus 4 which quadrant 2 uh, and minus 4 fourth quadrant g very good this is good this and good. then uh, the abscissa of the point uh, d is 6 very good 6 uh, yes sir then 
the ordinate of the uh, of point h is minus 3 uh, oh. Oh, minus sorry. then uh, the co coordinates of the point l of point l yes mm -hmm. um point l uh, 0 and uh, 5 0, 5 and the coordinates of the point m mm -hmm. point m uh, my, minus 3 and 0 minus 3 comma 0 okay minus 2 comma 4 this quadrant uh, what, um, minus 2 comma 4 second quadrant. Very good. 3 comma minus 1. This quadrant. Uh, fourth, fourth quadrant. Very good. Minus 1 comma 0. Second, uh, it's on the x-axis. X-axis. Very good. 1 comma 2. First quadrant. Minus 3 comma minus 5. Third quadrant. Very so good. Uh, very good. Uh, so plot the position y. So you can draw this. Okay. Yes, sir. So, Just some one, just one want to read this. Okay. The position of the sun or a clock position or a point in a plane is required to calculate. Do you have examples with you? Yes, sir. You have with you? Yes, sir. Examples. Okay. So question number one answer. Oh, one second, sir. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. The point, uh, sir, the second quadrant. You have example of it, no? Yes, sir. So you, you open example, you look from example, and I have the soft copy of example. So question number one answer was? Second quadrant. Number two answer. Uh, signs of the abscess and ordinate of the point in the second quadrant are uh, sir minus and plus. Second quadrant. Second quadrant is minus plus. Okay. Minus and plus. Correct. Then, um, then the point zero and minus seven lies on uh, on the y-axis. Zero minus seven will lie on the y-axis. Okay. Uh, the point minus 10 and 0 lies on the negative side of the x-axis. Negative side of the x-axis, correct. Then, then abscissa of all the points on the x-axis is, um, so it can be any number. Very good. Then ordinate of all points on the x, ordinate of all points in the x-axis is 0. Very good. The point at which the two coordinates axis meet is uh, called the origin. A point both of whose coordinates are negative will lie on the third quadrant. Hmm. Nine point one comma minus one means fourth quadrant. Uh, four minus two fourth quadrant. Four comma five fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant and the last minus one is third quadrant. So option D do not lie in the same quadrant. Uh, the tenth question if y coordinate of a point zero, then the point will always lie on the x axis. The point minus five and two and they are for minus five and two on the second quadrant and two comma minus five on the fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. Then uh, if the perpendicular distance of point P from the x-axis is five units and the foot of the perpendicular lies in the negative direction of the x-axis, then the point P has um, of y or I think it's option D, y coordinate five or minus five. Mm -hmm. You understood this question, no? Uh, yes, sir. For this diagram. Uh, then on plotting the points, uh, and joining O A A B. Uh, one second, sir. I have to draw the figure. For yeah. you. Point. Uh, point 
بسیار sir you get a rectangle so you if you see horizontally the the value the distance will be three and if you see vertically the distance will be four four yes sir yes sir um if uh, if this uh, i plotted on the graph paper then the points in the fourth quadrant So, uh, Q and R, which is three and minus four, and one and minus one lie on the fourth quadrant. I was thinking like we have to draw a diagram. Which is which diagram is this? Now I'm going to start. It's simply. Uh, sir, in this they're just asking uh, what are our points will lie in the fourth quadrant. So diagram is yeah. not necessary. Oh, yeah. yeah. So diagram ya correct one. So three, three will line second, Q will line fourth, R will line on on R. fourth quadrant. So we have to just quadrant. check which in our yeah, line yeah. the fourth yeah. quadrant. S is third and P e is e is, e is uh, second. Second. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if the coordinates are the two points, then axis of P and minus axis of Q. Um, minus two, minus two. Uh, sir, it's sir, it's one. Minus two, minus minus. Three. Minus two, minus minus, minus three. three. So minus so and minus, minus will become plus. plus. So plus it's three the minus one. The answer is plus answer. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, then. If I plotted on the graph, then the points on the x axis are. Simply, no need to draw diagram. P will lie. Oh, yes, sir. P will be in the Q first quadrant. X -axis. Q uh, will be x axis, x -axis and origin. Yeah, yeah. And origin. Yeah. yeah. The axis of a point is positive in uh, first and fourth quadrant. First quadrants. and fourth, sorry. The points of axis and on it have different signs will lie in the second and uh, fourth quadrant. Opposite sign, correct. First and third day axis. Yes, sir. In the following figure, coordinates of P are um, minus two and coordinate of P minus coordinate of minus two comma minus two comma four. But sir, uh, in the figure here, it's not. Uh, in the figure, it's given near three, not four. The point P. Yeah, yeah. So that the mistake is there in the diagram. Okay. So, so x should be minus one, and y is near about close to three. Yes, sir. Even I got confused in this. In the following figure. So in that example, a solution is given. Uh, example, sir. Yes, sir. In the following figure, the point identified by minus 5, comma 3. Minus 5, x is minus 5, y is 3. So that is S. Uh, uh, sir, that, then it will be uh, the C option, L, point L. Point L minus five comma three. Yes, a key point. Yes, sir. So the answer is correct. Uh, the point whose ordinate is four and which lies in the y-axis is zero comma four.
uh, which of the points uh, do not lie on the x axis Mm -hmm. I on the x so, p r r will not lie p r and, and t will uh, not lie t p one is yeah option c option c no, no. the point which lies on y axis or distance of five units in the negative direction of y axis is uh, so zero comma no, minus five no, the perpendicular distance of the point Three and four from the y-axis is uh so three. You understand, no? This is yeah. yes, sir. Uh, now you I can try this a uh, very short answer type, short and long. You can see this. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. I don't okay. have any doubt. These are easy problems. Yes, sir. Long, long questions. Let me see long answer. Yeah, that's the the same thing. Long answer type. Remember yesterday we did a square and all. Yes, sir. Same way those things are there. I don't think you'll have any doubt. Just go through this. Yes, sir. So I yes, sir. I see you at six thirty. Uh, yes, sir. Six thirty. We are doing comparing we'll quantities, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, okay. But sir, I don't okay. have my eighth grade textbook with me. Ah, uh, you can download that book. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, just Google it. Oh uh, yes, sir. I'll download it. You know, right? Ah uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll download it. CRT ebook. If you do, you get it. Okay, sir. I'll download it. Okay. Where you? What you did with the book? You gave it to someone? Ah uh, yes, sir. I gave it to my friend who went in eighth grade. Okay. I I have only uh, I think one or two books with me, which are of eighth grade. Now now we have friends for ah uh, till you reach to your standard. Uh, we don't give you books. Ah uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Because it will be important. Any exam preparation. I yes, give you an example, Dhani. Uh, you heard of UPSC exam? Ah uh, yes, sir. Civil service and all IES. Have you seen the recent web series? Be a student. Oh uh, yes, sir. I know. Uh, yes, sir. Heard of it. So I, why I'm talking about not to give you book, Dhani? That uh, you know the the most difficult. And the best exam in India is to become an IAS officer. You know how much power, how much money they have. And the yes. questions they ask in IAS, they ask NCERT questions. What you are studying? Geography, history, oh, okay. biology, chemistry, whatever you are studying. No, from eighth standard to twelfth standard. Okay. Thing will ask in IAS exam. I'm not. Oh, okay, sir. So that that much important is NCERT exam. If I show you that uh, UPSC UPSC books, if I Google it, UPSC books list, UPSC books list. Simply, simply, if I Google it, so you see this one. Uh, you can see all our books, best book, yes, the highest prelims. So all your NCERT books you will find. History, yes, the Indian economy, whatever you have studied, uh, you uh, you are studying all that, all that uh, will you have to study again. You ask your senior, your elder brother, sister, whoever prepared for UPSC exam, you see this. Uh, you have to study this history, Indian struggle for independence, Indian art and culture, NCERT class eleven, ancient and medieval, NCERT class twelve, modern Indian history, geography. Can you see that NCERT? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Indian polity, economics, whatever you're studying, not only right now. This is very important stage of your life. So okay. decide lot of things in your life. One because you want to take English and all, it would really good if you think of BPSC or something in future. So these things are very take it very seriously. That's why I plan to do revision of those things which are not covered for you in eighth standard. Because I know somewhere in the future, sooner or later will impact you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay then. Then I'll wind up the class. I'll okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, bye.